Hey, it's Jason, and I'm on the hunt for a uh, 1985 Scotty Traveler trailer. So, you know, it's like an RV, but just a travel trailer, you tow it, or a travel camper, or a camper trailer, some may call it. And uh, this thing looks super cool. I mean, it's it's pretty old, right? Obviously, it'll be, what, 36 years old, roughly? And uh, it's... 24 maybe 26 foot long so it's right around there but the cool thing about this travel trailer is the guy that owns it did a bit of updating so it looks really retro and pretty groovy from the outside but the inside has all new cabinets new fridge new microwave i think the original oven and hood new countertops a lot of work has been done to it and uh, he had a price pretty high initially then his price came down a bit and he reached out to me it's about an hour from my house so I'm gonna go look at it now if you know me and you may not know me I'm not really a camping kind of guy I prefer a hotel or something along those lines so you know this is kind of like well Jason why on earth would he be looking at a travel camper and well it's I think it'd be pretty cool to add to the car collection up at the building because it could fit on the big side of the building where the garage is, um, you know, like going against the back wall, space that I'm not really using right now, and it would give us an immediate area where we could sleep and spend a little extra time. I'm going to be taking a bit of time off work, and uh, I would love to be able to go up there with my son and have a place to hang out, and I think it would be really an eclectic addition to the car collection. And it is something I could tow with one of the Land Rovers, have a old 91 Range Rover Classic towing an 85 Scotty. And the Scotty travel trailer has a really good resale value. So even if I get it and I use it for the summer up at the building, and then I'm like, you know, I don't really have a need for it anymore. I can very easily flip it, get rid of it, especially in this market. And it's a small travel trailer, so it really opens up the doors for folks that just have an SUV and not a really big pickup truck that they're going to be traveling with. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish driving. I got about 35 minutes to go. And when I get there, I'll cut the camera on and we'll do a walkthrough. And who knows, maybe I can find a happy median related to the price. I'll make an offer. But what I'm really hoping to do is get it for a good price and see if he can't tow it back to my house. Because I'm in my L322. I don't have a tow hitch hooked to it or tow electronics hooked up on this L322. And my son's with me, so I couldn't bring the Silverado. And honestly, I particularly don't want to tow it on 695 all the way back to my house. I'll rather just tow it from my house to the building one morning all on back roads. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and dig in when we finish driving. Okay, so that was the Scotty. Uh, I did not buy it. The price, in my opinion, was a lot higher than it probably should be. But it was nice, and I'm sure he'll find a buyer. Why didn't I buy it? Something about these RVs, and I don't know if it's because they all leak at some point, they always have an odor. I would equate it to like, when you go to a dollar store, it always has that weird odor and it's usually because of all the plastic junk that comes in from China. These RVs all have, I don't know if it's like 
the heat building up in them when they're sitting and then a musky smell but they always have the doors and windows propped open when you go to look at them and it still doesn't do a good enough job airing it out so i'm beginning to think really this idea is probably just not an idea for me um who when i say they always leak they always do leak in fact this guy showed me where this one leaked at one point but it hasn't been leaking since um i i think it's worth like three thousand bucks um three thousand bucks i'll probably buy it put in the building and enjoy it for a little bit but he's pretty much double that price um and me not being a camper and all of that stuff, I just can't justify it. So I wish him well. I'm sure he'll find a buyer. If not, they're going to enjoy it a little bit this summer. Um, it's just not the one for me. I might look at one or two more just to see if my opinion changes. And maybe I find something that changes my opinion. But right now, full steam ahead on fixing the room at the building, the uh, like the loft, and turning that into a nice bedroom that we can use when we want to stay overnight in the building. So thanks for tuning in on this adventure of chasing a 1985 travel trailer. Not going to be added to my collection, but uh, it was worth a look. Please give me a subscribe. It means a lot to me.